Hello, hello, what's up everybody? It is great to be back. As usual, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I see you all greeting each other in chat already. Makes my heart happy. But we are here to play some damn Dishonored and I am hyped for it. I know Max was throwing some shade on the game yesterday, but I'm ready. And you know, I think I'm gonna go into this with a mentality that it's a DLC effectively, just a big one, and I'm, I'm gonna be excited for it. We are gonna be playing not the hardest mode yet. We've been playing on just hard difficulty, and we're gonna be running through the game trying to complete every single quest that we can. You know what's funnier than 24? 25. I think Eakin would argue that it's 21. But yeah, we are going to be completing every single quest that we can, helping out all of the civilians with our great assassination. Um, <laughs> I was speaking the truth, you naive triangle. <laughs> I will wait to play the game once or twice. Ooh, the green screen's making me see through. Uh, I'll wait to play the game once or twice before I throw my opinion out there to agree or disagree with you, Max. But I'm excited. So with that, let's go ahead and jump right into the game. <laughs> Max hacking the game, getting that early, that early access copy. You know, it's interesting. I saw people yesterday streaming it on Twitch. Not really sure how that happened. Photo sensitivity warning. Whoa, your shirt. I know, right? It's so fluorescent. <laughs> Arcane Studios. Oh, I love Arcane Studios. By the way, go to difficulty setting while in game and change mana regeneration rate to fast. Huh. Because on slow, it's disgusting to play. Hmm. Interesting. Is that cheating? I don't know. All right, we're gonna be starting up a new game. This is my test game from earlier when I was making sure we had the correct capture. We're gonna be playing, like I said, on hard, not on very hard. Our next run is gonna be on very hard, and that one will be a attempt at an all ghost playthrough. We all know how my delightful all ghost playthroughs go. go. <laughs> He's maxed up. Mandarin Gen is stupid. It's so slow. Let's see. My name I'll is check Bella, it out. Don't worry. Though there aren't many people we'll look, who remember. We'll, we'll look at For it. For years, I stayed hidden. Captain yeah. of a ship called the Dreadful I got Mail. the coffee. I was in a for a long stream today, hopefully. And maybe traitor. So when I get tired, you may see me last. sipping on it. Our names are always overshadowed by the words whispered Sorry, after them. Sorry, the immersion. If you hide from the world long enough, eventually nobody remembers you. Then, you're alone, living with your choices. But I could never forget the man who pulled me up from nothing. Dowd, the Knife of Dunwall. A name called out by the desperate or the dying. The assassin who ended one empress and saved another. Nice, Max. Burns going going for a sleep a deprivation time. tonight? When I betrayed Dowd, he let me live. I left Dunwall and my own name. Actually, we killed Billy when we when we for played years, as Dowd. I wondered if I was worth forgiving. For years I laughed at myself for even wanting a killer's forgiveness. Sometimes mercy cuts deeper than any knife. Now I know that forgiving is something you do for yourself as much as for the people who hurt you. I know Dowd is in Karnaka, and I'm going to find him. So again, the Every format night, of this, the story, the seems pretty straightforward. It's just we're going to find Dowd, fight. My arm dead in line and then go kill the outsider. That's what I'm guessing. Dowd I don't really know. Grand Which sword. isn't necessarily bad. But when I wake up, they still hurt for hours. Gives me the creeps. So she yes, has her arm in this, correct? Comfort. You stole this for me, didn't you, Deirdre? Now it's all I have left of you. Another relic from the old days. Still holds an edge, at least. 
That so boxing club in the Albarca Baths is my last lead. Dowd has to be there. So a little background for those that haven't played the first or the second game. In the second game, we meet Billy, Billy Lurk, who we are currently playing as. This is us. Um, and she ha no longer has like half of her arm and her eye is broken. Or her eye is gouged out. And she just kind of alluded to that, how she has a dream of it. But I'm pretty sure in canon, there's multiple ways to end the second game. But I'm pretty sure um, in the, you know, real ending, that the, the, lin the linear story, as it's written, to progress, um, we actually go back in time and prevent Billy from losing her arm and eye. I think. And I think that's why she has an arm and an eye in this. Because I'm pretty sure it was her left arm. Could be wrong about that, though. What I hate is that I couldn't play as old Dowd, who is tired of this shit and is on his last job. That would have been hilarious, actually, to play as grumpy old assassin Dowd. I'm just happy he's in the game, though. And I've always kind of wanted to play as Billy Lurk, so I'm, uh, they really definitely catered to me by doing this. All right, we're going to be reading all the things. We're going to be doing all the quests we can grab. We're about to have a fun time, guys. And thank you all for being here to tag along. All right, so we have two contracts that are currently open. The first one is an eyeless hag stole my poor Milky, who is a white dog, apparently. Albino, maybe. Breaks my old heart to ask this of you. But if you find my Milky, please put him out of his misery and burn his remains. Save him from the, those cursed eyeless. And save Karnaka from another plague. Karnaka. All right. And then the, the second one is industrial espionage. Those thugs on the Albernaka make potions and bone shards upstairs. Their liquor is vile, but it sells for very good money and we're losing punters to them by the day. Bring us the rat liquor recipe before our brewery goes out of business and make sure to destroy their stock while you're at it. Okay, we're, we're gonna be starting off by doing these um, two specific quests. They, <laughs> Mr. Max Mysterio shall guide you without any spoilers, of course. Um, But yeah, so they kind of built a new system into this game, which is, is not entirely new, but you're kind of like a from what, I, from what I've seen, like a helper. <laughs> Steen. Uh, Max knows. I didn't mark the contracts. Oh, cool. Good, good call. Nice. See? Max MB, MVP right here. That was great. Yeah, I will always take tips and hints like that, of course. Max knows. Offer up. He's been around for a while. All right. Burglary, spying, picking pockets. Let's play a guitar. Taught me more than just killing. It can keep me afloat, for now. Make sure we're not missing anything in this very first room. Um, throw the whiskey tumbler, of course. Empress Emily Caldwin moves to heal Fractured Empire. So this is after. Uh, Emily has saved the Empire from the, for the second time, the second game. Um, we actually assisted her quite a lot while also lying to her about our, our identity because we helped kill Emily Caldwin's mother in the very first game. All right, renovation projects in the Tower District are finally underway as the last funeral rites were performed for High Overseer Yule Collin and the Brothers of the Faith who died in the attempt to retake Dunwall Tower from the now deposed usurper Delilah Copperspoon. The evil, evil Delilah Copperspoon. Almost as bad as the Lord Regent. The Abbey of the Everyman has spent the last several months consecrating and interring the remains of the Fallen, while, all, while also removing dangerous and heretical objects from the Imperial Palace. With the representatives from the Isles behind her, Empress Emily Caldwin issued a statement yesterday morning urging unity in the wake of this great tragedy. The Empire's strength is in its diversity of thought and action. Working together, there. Oh, yeah, okay, so this is just a bunch of propaganda. Emily is trying to bring everything together. So her imperial highness there are a shit ton of bone storms and i mean stupid amounts of bone charms <laughs> good we're gonna be getting all of them that we can great renowned natural philosopher painter anton sokolov returned to tyvia this weekend or this week after years of retirement in karnaka oh i wonder if we're gonna get to see anton i love anton's character sokolov who inventions and technolo technological marvels are famed through the isles was greeted with the fanfare and panoply do a national hero a parade in his honor culminated in the festival of mastrov Square in the book, the where Sokolov gave a brief speech announcing the establishment of his video, his video, his studio, <laughs> where he's going to be streaming. He's going to be live streaming games. When asked about his future plans, the inventor responded, "I've already done enough for the se for several lifetimes. 
The inventor was overwhelmed by the internal infernal noise of the parade and left the celebration earlier. He's a grumpy doing, dude. She'd probably try me for treason. Is this what you would have looked like, my sweet Deirdre? I would have died soon after you, if it hadn't been for Dowd. So who is Deirdre again? Is that her childhood friend, I think? All right, one last fight. I wouldn't blame Illy for killing me there, bring down the Empress and everything that gets thrown into chaos. A lot of people got hurt, but it was worse than I thought, wasn't it? I helped kill her mother. This is explaining kind of some lore background from the second game. That's two times I was spared, but at least I got to put it right. Is this how Dodd felt? Feels? My dreams are getting worse too, stronger. Sometimes I stare at my right arm. Like it shouldn't be there. My head hurts like I'm blinded by blood. I started to write it all down, but to keep, just to keep a handle on it. Two weeks until I'm back in Karnaka. The longest two weeks of my life. Yeah, so she is having dreams about the alternate reality that we actually changed where she got her arm and I completely cut off of her body. My old self again. It felt good to say the name. Even better to hear it. Okay, so she was masquerading as someone not named Billy Lurk, Megan Foster, throughout the entire second game, and we eventually found out who she was and we're really mad at her. Or, when we were playing as Emily called one. Alright, one last lead. An underground boxing club of all places. Dodd could be fighting there. Maybe another dead end, but I have to be sure. I tried to pump out the engine room, but no use. My ship's dead in the water. Megan Foster would have been furious, but I'm not. I've got other things to care about. Cool. This is new lore and maps we found. Okay, that should be everything in this room. We're gonna strum our guitar one more time. Alright. Ooh, so these are about her dreams. The strongest they've ever been. Feels like I'm really dying. Each time I'll be in some alley in Karnaka, the sleep in my coat. Yeah, okay, so she's just describing, I'm running well on tobacco. She's describing her alternate reality. Wow, can we read all of these? I tried to have a dreamless night by drinking some of that foul liquor Anton left behind, but the dream came anyway. Oh yeah, so this is her writing down all of her dreams. The sea's choppy this morning too, just my luck. I've been in some nasty spots in the past, but I never had to pinch my own face shut or watch my hands twitch in the street. So why do I keep dreaming it? Every time it feels more like a memory than anything else, and it's getting worse. I'll have the dream, and the fingers on my right hand are stiff for hours in the morning, and I can barely tie a knot, and my right eye will go blind without warning. I don't know what to do. If I tell anyone about it, they'll just think I'm drinking Anton's liquor every night. Let's see, Golden Charm, Deirdre gave me, I remember, yeah, so same thing, dream move. Dreamed of her old friend who's dead. The Grand Guard, I know that this time I fight, I couldn't handle a misstep, a mistake, and I cut open in a sword arm lying in the street. It took me four hours to complete this DLC considering that I did every side quest except one, which literally makes me... Ask me to raise the whole level? Jesus. That's crazy. Well, we'll probably take a bit longer than four hours. Um, you, you usually play games a lot faster than we do. I've been searching for months. I know you're here, Dowd. Somewhere. Ah, good coffee. Hmm, interesting. So yeah, this is definitely gonna not going to be a no-kill playthrough. Although our, our next one may be. It's definitely going to be a ghost playthrough, but it also might be a no-kill playthrough. Everyone in Dunwall was afraid of him then. But not me. That club is run by a gang that call themselves the Eyeless. The Eyeless seem like a, the main enemy we're trying to... Magic. If that's true, confront then right Dowd now. Might be involved. This is where Dowd is. The underground fighting ring supposedly is. Reply from Isabel. Megan, you must be pretty desperate if you're writing to me about this. Yeah, I saw him. He set up a meet. Oh, so she's asking Isabel to if he's seen if she's seen Dowd. There are missions that require you to kill. Hmm. Oh, and you can't play without kills if you want 100. percent Interesting. That's kind of cool. Karnaka is full of. I don't know secrets. if you could ever do that though. I, I feel like there's always been Dowd missions is. that require you to kill. Reply from Kitter. So th this, these are her it's writing letters to all of her friends or acquaintances. Dowd's had the mark of the outsider in his hand for as long as I've been Asking known. where Dowd is. I've gone through every gang infested slum asking after this, and no one would tell me a thing. Hmm. Chaos system is no more, so let's listen to the voice of reason and embrace the bloodthirst. What do you mean? There, there's no chaos system in this? I love the chaos system. Although I know a lot of people didn't like it. Oh, I love this. So one of the DLCs from, I think, the first game? Yeah, but it had to be the first game. Was called The Knife of Dunwall, and you get to play as Dowd, our mentor, the one we're trying to seek out right now. 
and they actually wrote like a full book about it and you get to read excerpts from it uh, in the game and this is one such excerpt The engine is shot and half the ships in an inch or more of seawater. Oh god, this is the engine room. These are the Dreadful Whale's last days. So the Dreadful Whale is where you spend the majority of Dishonored 2. Actually, it's like your base, your base of operations. And so you come back here. And so now, and it's owned by Billy Lurk masquerading as uh, Megan Foster. And so now it's wrecked and sinking, apparently. Yep, kill as much as you desire. Hmm, interesting. I think we will definitely be doing that this this run, especially. This is definitely gonna be a kill run. Nothing will happen except minor stuff like new patterns, patterns stating about the uh, massacre. Ah, interesting. Oop. Abandoned letter to the Empress. Your Imperial, Imperial Highness, thank you for the gift. While your generosity is to impress him, I don't want your coin, late, what? Interesting. And here we are. The delightful world of Dishonored. One of my favorite gaming universes. I honestly cannot wait to see what um, Arcane has in store after this, because this is supposedly the last episode of the current world of Dishonored. Like, the modern times. All right, let's check our map real quick. This oh. station hasn't been used for years. Is there not? I know there's a map. Is that not a um, control? I always forget that. Maybe there's not. My memory is so awful. Maybe it's not. Hiding the huh. dreadful whale wasn't easy. But it's safe so Should I far. remind you about arcane development story? Sure, Max, remind me. Dishonored 2012, Dark Messiah 26, 2006. I mean, yeah, it might take a while. But they definitely have more funding than they did, right? Alright, so there's nothing really to do on this ship because it's just simply wrecked here, it seems. So we're gonna make our way through this makeshift dock. Um, into the city. That hurt a little bit. Alright, let's see what we have. So we just have normal crossbow bolts out of our wrist gun. Yeah, maybe they have a lot more developers. I don't know about a lot more, but they prop they almost certainly have significantly more. And maybe they won't go bankrupt. Today? Yeah, that'd be nice, definitely. Rat whispers. Press F to hear the thoughts of the rats. These little creatures whisper to one another, exchanging information about what is going on, on the, in the streets and basements from their point of view. Holy shit, that's so cool. Their mutterings are often cryptic, but sometimes they can give useful clues. My little gutter friends. By the way, it's not a Yeah, our, our wrist bow. Whatever it is. So a rat king? That's what it sounds like. How are you all doing today? Have you had anything exciting happen? Done anything super productive? Yeah. All right. I'm guessing this is what we're gonna be taking into town. We're gonna explore this area just a little bit, make sure there's nothing we can grab. It's Friday. That's true. It is Friday. Hmm. So we don't. We also don't have our powers yet. So I'm guessing that's part of the storyline. Actually, finding our powers. That means it's a good day, Steen. I agree. All right, we can either stay at the Dreadful Whale or go to the baths, which the baths are where we're headed. So we're going to the baths. And damage and dread will depend on what kind of ammo you use. 
Nice. This is why I keep you around, Max. <laughs> you have all of the info. And I believe you can shoot through your zoom as well, through your eyeglass. Northern Campo set a district. All right. All right. The old Alparka baths shouldn't be far. So we're trying to go found, find Dowd. In an underground fighting ring. That should be cool. Bedelia's journal. journal. I tried the old incantations under the teeth and strings like before, but it didn't work. It always used to work. Is the magic really gone? I heard about a gang from one of my sisters. She said they do things like what we had together. There's a message before that says which types of ammo you can use. Is it in the, is the message in the Dreadful Whale? The Eyeless might be content with scratching up bones and rat liggers, but I'm not. I taste the dark waters of the void with my sisters. I know what it feels like to turn things you hate to ash and watch bright flowers br bloom from cinders. These people don't know real magic. Nets. I think I found a way. If I could snatch one of the stray hounds off the street and steal some carved whalebone. Oh, so this is the person that's been taking the the hounds, and that's what we have the mission to do. Go sit, go put that hound out, hound out of its memory. It's in Twitch chat, but whatever. Oh, <laughs> which type of ammo you can use? You can load it with bullets, bolts, pins, scalpels, and no way, like literally anything. That's a, it's like a it's like a blunderbuss. That is awesome. <laughs> That is super cool. I used to raise dead hounds from the earth to sulk shadows and tear my enemies. Well, we will be doing that then. So do we just pick them up? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna check that in a second. I watched the life run out of this wretched creature. Its heart shuddered and stopped and I felt nothing. Just pity, it's gone. But she's an ex-witch who can no longer summon her power. And I'm guessing it's because Delilah, who was kind of like their coven leader is dead maybe. So she butchered this hound here and was trying to raise it from the dead. Cause she's crazy. Ooh, all the bugs. Hit and scalpels in an upgrade. Got it. Hey, there's a pencil we could use. Stealth, nice. I know all about stealth. Oh, there's a dude. There's even an achievement for killing someone in a firefight with a pin. Oh, dude, that's badass. Well, then we will be killing someone in a firefight with a pin. Don't you worry. All right, we're gonna start this lethal. Lethal playthrough. You know, one thing I always find myself wishing is that you could, in other games, like in this game, you can hide bodies. I always, in other games that are based on stealth, I always wish you could hide bodies. I think one that we were playing recently was the Evil Within. We were like trying to sneak around places and we kill someone. Oh, Wolfenstein too, in some areas. And you kill someone and then they'd see the body and freak out. And you can't hide them. I'm spoiled by Dishonored. Okay. Excess meal. Yep, we know. We, we, we know all about that. This rat listening thing is super cool. Level is very linear, so don't bother to look for some hidden passages. Okay. 